Any parent from Nantonzu would also express her gratitude. Due to the long distances between beneficiary villages and their training centers, Bibir Ghana under the Kai project has undertaken to buy bicycles for these beneficiaries to ride from the villages to their various training centers. As you can see, these are young girls from Kula riding their bicycles to the training centers. In your short is Nantonzo ladies who are also riding busily on their way to the training centers as well as Panvo ladies who are also trying very hard to catch their lessons early enough at their training centers from their villages. These are ladies from Kula with their madam who would normally teach them about dressmaking. These are girls from Nantongzo who are also with their madam learning how to sew. And these are the Panvo girls also learning with their madam. The various seamstresses who serve as tutors to these young girls would also share a word with us on the benefits they are getting from the Kai project. My name is Familia. And by, I was there and the believe Ghana gave me the children to come and train. And I'm training them. Maybe after two to three years, I will graduate them. Those of them who are doing well, I will pass them. And whatever they want for them, they will give it to them. And they will go and train. They have given them bicycles and machines to come and do the training. And they are from Joe. They normally ride the bicycles and come. By 7 to 8.30, they are always here. I've been paid by the director, Mr. Osset. I've been paid by the Biri company, the Biri Suleimana. I'm not going to go to the Biri company. I'm going to go to the Biri company. We have also just finished running a workshop for them on the need to take care of their health, the need to take care of their vocation training seriously, and then the need to also build some self-confidence in themselves for their 
future. Some of you are naturally lazy. I'm sure. When your madam send you, then you squeeze your face. Mm, like that. <laughs> huh? Some of you, the way you talk. Some of you, the way you talk. You see, understand that what you are doing is like you being in school. In school, when you go to school, they train you values so that you can fit into society. So that when you meet elderly people, you know how to respect and greet. When you meet, you go home, you know exactly what to do. So these values are the same values your madams will be training you there. So when you are there and you don't smile and you squeeze your face, you go, you finish the call and then you go and be showing you, madam, and then you also be madam and you are this. And nobody can come to you. If you don't smile on your faces, to put cheers on your face, nobody will come to you. Uh -huh. So please, smile, laugh, crack jokes, your respect. Look, every trade, every trade, when you are doing it, there is tedious. Please, don't allow them. Tell them that my body is for my, my husband in future. I want to give my body to my husband. I don't want to give my body to anybody. Anybody who wants you now and says, I want to marry you, is want to take advantage of you. Say, I want to finish my training, and then when I have my job, then I can decide to say whether I will marry or not. It is my intention, or the bill's intention, to increase this thing by next year. However, we have also been told that we need to register all of them into the Seamstresses Association. So we need to also pay for them to go. But if we have the means in future, in terms of long terms, what I intend to do is to build a vocational center where these seamstresses can be trained, I mean, put in there as a permanent staff. And then these vocational, we have the sewing machines displayed there in the rooms. And then these guys are brought in to train and to go back. Now that we don't have the vocation center or training center, what we do is we give each of them the sewing machine to go to these seamstresses and we pay them differently for each person that is sent to that place. However, if we had had a teacher just for a vocational center, one or two people, we would have paid less or lesser than what we were doing. So this is it. However, I would like to thank Alexis, David, and all benefactors of this um, project that the girls are happy and you will see them all on the video showing their happiness and cheer you know cheerful with the way they have been assisted well like the saying go live a twist if you have means of supporting them more to settle them after the training we will be very grateful for this assistance for there are more to be, you know, assisted. But depending on how far the means or resources that we have can take us to, we will do what we can do. So I thank all of you very much, and may God bless all of you, and I wish you Merry Christmas.